NextStage has prepared this instructional video as a supplement to existing labeling and training materials. This tool is not intended to replace the NextStage System 1 user's guide or cartridge instructions for use. Refer to appropriate user's guides and instructions for use for all warnings and precautions. You have selected the Resetting Pressure Pods module. In this section, we will review how to reset both access and filter pressure pods on the next stage system one. Access pressure pod resetting. Occasionally you may be required to reset the access pressure pod. You may be prompted to do this if the machine gives you a number 25 yellow caution, access pod error, reset access pressure pod. This action may also be indicated if the machine is no longer displaying an access pressure, if the pressure pod is no longer pulsing, or if there is little to no fluctuation of the access pressure over time. The procedure for resetting the access pressure pod can be found on one view under the FYI or Information tab. To reset the access pressure pod, follow these steps. Press Stop. Remove the access pressure monitoring line from the side of the cycler. Do not clamp this line before removing. Clamp the arterial access patient line red clamp. Unclamp the saline line white clamp and the saline T clamp. Observe the pressure pod filling with blood. Clamp the pressure pod monitoring line. Clamp the saline line white clamp and the saline T clamp. Unclamp the patient's arterial access line red clamp. Press the green treatment key on the cycler interface. Reconnect the access pressure monitoring line. Fully insert the access pressure monitoring line tip into the connection point on the cycler, turning one quarter turn counterclockwise while pushing in. Then tighten the locking collar clockwise. This allows for proper connection of the pressure pod. Unclamp the pressure pod monitoring line. Verify the access pressure on the one view is within normal range. Also, verify the pod is full of blood and fluctuating with an indentation no bigger than a dime. Filter pressure pod. Occasionally you may be required to reset the filter pressure pod. You may be prompted to do this if the machine gives you a number 27 yellow caution Filter pressure error, reset filter pressure pod. This action may also be indicated if the machine is no longer displaying a filter pressure, if the filter pressure pod is no longer pulsing, or if there is little to no fluctuation of the filter pressure over time. To reset the filter pressure pod, follow these steps. Press stop. Detach the filter pressure monitoring line orange clamp from the left side of the cycler. Do not clamp this line before removing. Connect a female-female connector to the filter pressure monitoring line and then attach a syringe to the adapter. Inject approximately 3 cc of air into the filter pressure monitoring line to bottom out the filter pressure pod. Clamp the filter pressure monitoring line orange clamp. Press the green treatment key on the cycler interface. Reconnect the filter pressure monitoring line. Fully insert the filter pressure monitoring line tip into the connection point on the cycler, turning one quarter turn counterclockwise while pushing in. Then tighten the locking collar clockwise. This allows for proper connection of the pressure pod. Unclamp the filter pressure monitoring line orange clamp. Verify the filter pressure on the one view is within normal range. 
Also verify that the filter pressure pod is full of blood with an arched center fluctuating with an indentation around it. Congratulations, you have completed the pressure pod resetting module.